There's a debate as to whether this song is Irish or British. It certainly rings lyrically and musically of Ireland, but with a British influence, perhaps. The song stretches back in print to the mid-19th century, but before then, as with so many folk songs, the precise place and date are unknown. What is clear is that this song has a rich history and has travelled far and wide across the British Isles. The story goes that Bert Jansch first learned the song from Anne Briggs and arranged the guitar for his 1966 album Jack Orion. Anne Briggs only went on to record her sublime version five years later. Led Zeppelin have also recorded a version. Perhaps all these versions came from Isla Cameron, a Scottish singer in the 1950s. Perhaps they came from A.L. Lloyd. Prior to that, it's hard to say. I thought about the subtext of this song quite a bit and, and what it means to perform it. It's unhappy lyrics. Narrated through the voice of a young woman, it tells a story of a love snubbed and rejected by a deceitful young man. Still, as Anne Briggs supposedly said, it's a lovely thing to sing, and in the midst of the swinging 60s was a sad reminder of a harsher and more unequal sexual morality that still lingers on. Oh, oh. 